Back roll transition is one of my favourite ways to turn around. The move requires good kite skills and good board skills to ride away smoothly. The back roll transition has some comparisons with the back roll we covered in episode 1. A good understanding of a regular transition is also essential, so you might want to brush up your knowledge with another look at episode 2. You can start small, but the end goal is to complete a floaty controlled back roll with good exit speed on the new tack. On board now, this angle will show you nicely what I am doing with the bar. Whilst riding along nicely, your focus should be on carving hard into the wind. At this point where I've paused, you can see that I'm steering with the left hand, thus bringing the kite higher up in the window. This is not because I want to initiate lift off though, it's because I want to position the kite closer to 12 so that I'm able to get a better angle into the wind. To make that even easier, I sheet out to release the tension on my body and only sheet in once I require lift. Hang in the air, redirect and Bob's your uncle, back roll transition complete. Let's bring in a wide of the kite to show you how that looks. Here I'm moving the kite to a nice high position which will allow me to angle up wind. Sheeting out the bar and moving the kite to 12 has allowed me to slow my previous tack momentum. Redirecting the kite helps to complete the last rotation of the back roll before I land flat and downwind on the board for exit speed. Now I'd like to cover the most common prob which is losing control of the back roll. Committing too much on the takeoff can result in an over rotation which usually becomes apparent when redirecting the kite. Let's lay up two examples. Even at this early point, Lewis to the left is destined to over rotate the move as just prior to takeoff the head, body and bar already went. Too keen to throw the back roll. Lewis to the right however is standing much taller, still holding onto the edge and facing the wind sheeting the bar in nicely to initiate lift off. Also note the board position. I find by keeping the back leg straight and lifting the front leg up, it's easier to hold the rotation. As we wind on further, it's clear that Louis left has really lost it, but on the right, I'm fully in control of the rotation speed. The board's still facing into the wind as I reach my apex. Only as I start to come down, do I pull on the new front hand to redirect the kite and complete the rotation landing downwind and flat on the board to ride out with power. My top tip for the back roll transition is to visualise performing only half a back roll. It gives you greater control of the rotation. The redirection of the kite will pull you nicely into that last 180. Start a new session on your Woo, making sure it's in big air mode. And if you're able to stay in the air for over two seconds, then you've nailed the floaty back roll transition.